Hey folks, it's me. Um, if you noticed, I've dyed my hair. It's a little bit lighter. Um, the color is called Sweet Latte, and I got it from Garnier. And it looks a little red just because my hair is actually naturally dark. But I need to like wait another week to re-dye it so it, the color can kind of set in. So anyways, um, just want to give you an update on like makeup and stuff. Um, I'm going to be walking around a lot in this video, so don't mind me if I'm like fumbling around and stuff so what this is about is just some recent products I purchased um, I'm buying a lot which I shouldn't be doing that's another issue that came up recently uh, but it's on foundation I've been on a kick with foundation lately and it's funny because I don't really use or never really used foundation just because I remember growing up seeing my grandma like pile on all that liquid and the way she would apply it would be so gross like my grandma rest in peace but like she would take the liquid and put it on a napkin and wipe it all over her face which of course isn't the right way to apply makeup since now I work in makeup and just thinking about it makes me think like oh my god grandma like did you know what you were doing so oh my god my hair sorry um so um, I've been on this kick with foundation, and the only reason I bought this Ulta one in Buff Beige, it's a mousse, was because it was like, I think $3, they were on sale, and I might need to just toss this. I, I like the feel of it, but it made me look super orangey and brown, so I may have to just, this is hard, but toss it, that was in the garbage. Um, I have this. Uh, Rainforest Glow from Tarte, and it's fr it was free. It was a sample. I don't even use it. In the garbage it goes. Um, I have some other things. I have this Maybelline uh, Fit Me in 320 Honey Beige. I didn't like it, and I tried it, and it crumbled, and I need to throw it away. <laughs> this is really hard because I am such a makeup addict, and this is like, like ugh. Like, I don't want to do this um, at all, but this is what's best for me, and I need to stop spending my money on crap I don't use. But I do actually kind of like this Superstay Makeup. Um, what color is this? True Beige from Maybelline. I got it cheap at Target. They had a sale. I'm actually going to keep that. I need to finish that. This I may need to finish because it wasn't on sale, but I did have a coupon at Ulta for it for $3.50 off, $10 purchase. It's the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid um, Powder, and it's in Buff Beige. Um, I need to use it up. I didn't like it because I have allergies, and I rub my nose a lot because it itches sometimes. So I um, noticed that it rubs off, and it kind of crumples around my nose. But I want to finish this, actually. I want to finish it. Um, so I'm keeping that. Oops. And then I have this I've been having, but I need to use up. This is in Golden Beige from NYX Stay Matte Not Flat. I use this with the setting powder, and I actually do use the setting powder. Um, I actually need to use their Stay Matte Powder Foundation, too. I barely touched it, but I want to use it, and it's in Medium Beige. I need to use it. What also sucks is I have three of these Tarte foundations. They're liquid foundation, the Maracuja Maracuja. Miracuja. Miracle Foundation. It's a 12 hour foundation broad spectrum with SPF 15. I have three of these. The reason why, no, I did not pay the full price for these on Tarte's uh, cosmetics website. These are $21. Um, they've been $21 for a while and the price went back up and luckily I did purchase all three while they were $21 a piece and it's in medium. By the way, I think that's the color. Yeah, medium. Um, but I think they put the price back down again. And, of course, I had to get the brush for it, too. But I actually do like it. The coverage is really nice. Um, I recently bought, finally, the little blending sponge. There are pros and cons to this thing. Um, I used it on the side, too. The pros is that I love that there's this tip here. Because when you're going around the nose area... It can get kind of crazy, but with that tip part, it actually helps ergonomically, like, maneuver the foundation on your face. And I only use this for the liquid stuff, as you can see. Um, yeah, so anyways, going to my makeup, um, I got new sugar pill, I think, what's this one? This one has 
I think it's their, not their sweetheart, but their burning heart or something like that. I'm probably like totally off. Um, I got the Christian Dior um, airbrush. It's their air flash foundation. I am wearing it right now. I mixed it with some Ben Eye. My friend has this from her beauty kit, and she gave it to me because she knew that this color would match me from Ben Eye. Um, but there's pros and cons to this. Um, well, as I say about the sponge, too, the sponge, it's nice, but I don't like that your makeup sets in that sponge because then, to me, that's kind of dirty. I did wash it, but it still has, like, makeup in it, so I think I may toss it soon. Air Flash from Dior. This is in color sand, and this is actually the perfect color for me. I recommend this for those who want moderate to sheer or sheer to moderate, sorry, coverage. Um, if you don't have imperfections, I really don't have imperfections on my skin. I just have dark circles under my eyes and puffiness, and that's about it. Um, and a little bit of like some discoloration across my face, but um, I don't really have a blemish problem or anything, so. Um, if you want to try it, you can. Um, will I continue to use this? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's it's kind of hard in a way to say maybe I would, I think, because of the price point. But I love Christian Dior. That's like my favorite high-end brand. Um, another thing I was watching on YouTube, and um, I think her YouTube name is Time the Infamous, if that's correct. She works for MAC, I think, still, and she talked about this Too Faced um, Primed and Poreless, or, yeah, Primed and Poreless, and I don't have a pore, like, thing, like, they're not huge, but I like the smoothness of this. Will I buy this? Yes, because it helps my foundation go on really smooth, so I recommend this if you're looking for a good primer. Um, and I buy a lot of Too Faced and Tarte Cosmetics uh, makeup, as well as cheaper brands, too. Hourglass, if anybody knows about Hourglass, leave me comments at the bottom. I really don't know much about their brand, but I saw this in Sephora, and this is a highlighter. And what I like to do with this is that sometimes I overdo my bronzer once in blue or almost every day. This will calm down the bronzer, the highlighter. This is really pretty. I got it in Radiant Light. And I've been using this every day. Like, I love this. This is so pretty. Um, there's a couple of different shades. It's 45 I know. It sounds pricey for some. Sorry. But I had to have it. And I was like, I need this. It's just beautiful. So, that's, like, what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, and this was on my, like, wish list that I've been making. This Dior Lip Glow. And... You probably think I'm wearing lipstick or some tint on my lip. I'm not. What lip glow is supposed to do is bring out your natural lip color or enhance, like, your lip color, I guess. Like, your natural color on there. So, I, I've been using it and I like it. It smells nice, too. So, I would recommend it um, if you want to get it. Also, I'm, like, walking back and forth here. Um, a friend of mine at work was, like, talking highly and I don't mind cheap brands. I love all cheap to, like, expensive. But she kept talking about e.l.f., their little, like, highlighter in the little squeezy thing. This is their shimmering facial whip. And this can go for any skin tone because that's what she was saying. She's like, I know you're African-American because she's Caucasian. And she was like, but you will like this. Like, this will highlight. If you know you're wearing too much of a color here, it will brighten it up, you know. So, and that's where she puts her highlighters on her cheeks. And it looks good, and it looks natural, and it smells kind of sweet. Like, there's a little bit of a fruity tint to it, or a fruity smell to it. So, um, it's a dollar, and it's e.l.f., and I have no problem buying e.l.f. I buy e.l.f. Um, brushes, and once in a while, I'll get, like, their eye primer. Um, but, yeah, when I, I got some Tarte online because they had some special, like, friends and family sale. They also gave me a sample of their bronzer, and I'm wearing it. You probably can't tell right now, but um, I got that. I got so much crap. Um, but yeah, like, I like to go through that type of, um, those things. Um, I got their rim brightener from Tarte. They gave me a free eyeliner as well. It's really small. And then... What else did I get? Oh, I got their matte lip pencil in Exposed, which is just like a neutral color. I don't know where I put it. 
Oh my gosh, and real quick before I end this video, okay, I was in Hawaii in March, and I know I did a haul and showed you guys and talked about the products that I had purchased. To keep it really real right now, I love cheap brands and I love high-end brands, but YSL, I think it's talked up too much, and I do want to try like their cream sheen lipsticks, I think that's what it is, or whatever, their creamy lipsticks in like a nude or a pink, but... They talk way too highly of these freaking lip tints or these lip stains. I have had this since March. I seriously am probably going to toss this. I also follow Elle Fowler on YouTube and on um, Instagram. And she talked about this. And I thought I was the only one. But she said she had bought two or had whatever of these. And she gave one to her mom and her mom didn't like it. And then she ended up back with it. She didn't like these as well because when you put it on, it feels like you have plastic on your lips, like melted plastic onto your lips, and it's kind of gross. So I don't recommend this YSL lip stain, no matter how good they keep talking it up to you. Plus, I was in Hawaii, and of course, I was a tourist, so I didn't know any better. But don't buy lip stains, and for YSL, the name, it's supposed to be a good brand. No, I don't want to use this. I'm really going to toss this out in a second, but that's sometimes like higher end brands aren't as good as what people you know make them to be so you be the judge you try them out test them or whatever but I myself I love like some high end which I need to stop so anyways I need to head to work um hopefully it'll be a good day it's a Friday so and it's payday and I want to buy a lot of stuff, but I can only can buy like a very select few. What I'm trying to go buy today only is three things from Lancome. I love their skincare and I only stick to their skincare. What I'm getting is their Pearl Eye Genifique for my under eye issue. I'm getting their night cream from the Benefit um, line. And I'm getting that doucher thing that removes makeup instantly. You can also use it on your brushes. If you don't know what that is, look it up on Lancome's website. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Have an awesome weekend. Um, hopefully I make another video. Don't know when. Um, and in three weeks, I'm going on a big trip for my boyfriend's birthday. I will reveal that when we're about to pack or when we come back. So, alright guys, have a great weekend and toodles.